we are living in an era where so many of our brethren, both in America and in Israel and the world over, are not blessed with observing the commandments of God as an integral part of their daily lives. And why? We can conjecture lack of education. We can conjecture uh, the uh, breakdown of the concept of Jewish community, except among those that are very religious. The Or HaChaim, studying the Or HaChaim commentary in this week's portion, offers an illuminating guideline as to how to stay committed. Torah says, and you shall remember Hashem your God. He is the one who gives you the strength to be successful. Your Chaim says this is a directive to us to always remember and constantly focus on God's kindness to us and that our success in, the, in every aspect of our lives is only and directly and exclusively attributed to God's help. The next verse says, if you forget God and you go after other gods and serve them, what is the connection between these two verses? The first verse says, remember that your success comes from God. The second verse says, if you forget God and you go after other forms of service, the connection, says the Orachayim, is so clear that if we remember and focus on God's goodness and God's involvement in our lives, then we will stay spiritually connected and then we will observe His commandments. If we forget God's goodness and God's love and God's compassion, then we will drift off. I suggest, I suggest how vital and how important it is in our times, in all times, and in our times especially, to focus among our fellow Jews on the concept of God's kindness, God's love, God's compassion, God's involvement in our lives and engendering and speaking about the concept of vitochen, trusting in God and realizing that our success is from God. If the more we can focus on that personally, and the more we can share that with our brethren, the stronger our own observance will be, and that much more of an impact we will be able to have on our fellow Jews. Have a fabulous Shabbos.